very short wavelength. In November 1894, he performed an experiment in the room of his colleague Prabhupada Chandravi, two years junior to him, and a teacher in the Presidency College of Kolkata. Microwaves transmitted from Bose's instrument moved straight forward, pierced through a closed door to reach the adjacent room. The door was guarded by Father Lafon, Bose's teacher in the St. Xavier's College during his student days. In the adjacent room was seated Professor Peter. On reaching Professor Pender's room, the microwaves fired a pistol. This was a historic event when an electric signal was sent without any other. With this instrument, Bose was able to demonstrate that microwaves could be reflected, refracted, absorbed, and polarized like ordinary life. <laughs> 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 what is very important is presidency college. Mm -hmm. He was Five. officiating the office and in that small room of pistol so, so it's just a regular the integration of instrument, that. instrument, instrument. have a model here downstairs we saw that And this also, you see, of, this should be the most authentic, no? Uh, no, no, he no. himself changed his career. This was uh, when he entered uh, Cambridge as an undergraduate. But, uh, nice. This should be the final one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> science, 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 science,
And in 2017, we are going to complete uh, 100 years of its existence. We should start thinking and planning a strategy how we can actually celebrate the 100 years of this. Because uh, Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose is not, uh, he doesn't belong to Calcutta or Bengal. He is a luminary of the highest order for the whole country and of course not for the country, for the whole world. So, this place, since it is associated with his memory, he worked and he used, uh, created this institution to basically uh, ensure that his unfulfilled dreams are fulfilled here, those, uh, the problems that he faced in his life for the development of science and for the development of, you can say, practicing here of his scientific pursuit. They should all be uh, taken care of. That is why this institute was created. Now is the time when after 100 years, we should, in the next two years, we have instructed the director and all of them to develop an action plan after a detailed brainstorming introspection among ourselves so that in the next 100 years we plan from where, uh, uh, from here, where do we go further. We have now the experience of the last 97 years uh, whatever has been done at the day forward we can think of because uh, we have been uh, fortunate to have uh, very uh, rich people uh, means rich in knowledge uh, like uh, Professor Jagdish and those in this country and uh, the history of science in this country is also very illuminating and very uh, full of uh, ancient wisdom for which we can all feel proud of. Here also you can see that uh, even the grandson of uh, Marconi, he also writes and acknowledges the fact that uh, Professor Tegdish and Bose have uh, thought of these microwaves and uh, all these communication things much before his grandfather did. So that's I think the uh, most uh, relevant acknowledgement coming from the family of the man whose name is associated. But we all know that uh, for many things, he started uh, thinking and doing concrete actions much before they were recognized by the world or they were uh, thought of. Uh, this. So it's a great occasion. And uh, now uh, to be part of this uh, museum also, it's, it was a very fantastic uh, personal experience for me. And I can only say on this occasion that the government of India under the able leadership of Nare Modi, we are formally committed to take science forward in the most dynamic manner, to take research and development in its uh, totality, most comprehensively. We want to have an all-inclusive type of approach for science, uh, give all uh, importance to all facets of science and see that uh, science is used in the best possible manner to make the Make in India program of the Prime Minister successful. There are all these new inventions, discoveries, technologies, innovations, we can uh, transfer them to the right people, uh, use the demographic dividend of this country in the best possible manner, develop young entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, and see that the Z, this is what I have been telling people and scientists all over the country that 100 years back or 150 years back uh, we uh, did not have all these facilities. Today when I go to a uh, good laboratory I find an electron microscope or an another microscope and I ask the cost they say it's something like 5 crores, 6 crores, 10 crores, 2 crores. These are the level of instruments that uh, out of say Dozens of rooms in a uh, center, I find in one single small room. But uh, people like uh, Professor Jagdish Chandra Bose, uh, they work under primitive conditions. There was no telecommunication, there were no phones, there was no internet, nothing. We have got now hundreds and thousands of facilities. And uh, maybe they may not have worked under air conditions. We are sitting in an air conditioned museum, but the place where they work, there was. Uh, I think uh, was fine. 
So uh, if they could work with the type of zeal, dedication, sincerity, and killer instinct, so this is the time when the real tribute to them is to take inspiration from their working style and their dedication. And the scientific community should also rethink, relook at their goals, re-dream, have a, a new vision for what they should be doing, start thinking fresh with an innovative approach, start thinking out of the box, and then also think of the problems of the people and the country in various fields and how we can do science to alleviate the sufferings of the people, how we can connect science with the people and what are the things that we should focus more on, what are the things we should actually be applying our mind to. And first things, first principle being applied, so these are some of the things that uh, the scientific community, we are uh, appealing to them to have a changed approach and vision. Regarding today's visit and the institute's will, I will, uh, after the will talk, I will issue a detailed press note also being sent it to you through PIB or so. But in case you have anything in mind, you can share it with me. But I would request I am not here to answer any political issues or political questions. If there is anything related to my ministry or this visit, I am most welcome to uh, talk about it. So do you propose to initiate any award or anything special to commemorate the 100 years of I think, uh, I think uh, award is a very small thing. Awards, I think, uh, the person at least of course, uh, he must be associated with uh, so many awards, it is already associated with them. I have told the director, Professor Sivaji, and all his uh, colleagues, here and Professor Das and others, that they should all start the process of brainstorming. Uh, they have worked two years. In these two years, they should make a very comprehensive and dedicated plan. Not only for these buildings. The Professor Jagdishan goes in not only these buildings. Yes. He is far, far, uh, you see, uh, taller than all this. So, uh, let them make out an action plan. Let them uh, decide the future course of action and our vision for the next 50, 100 years. And let the institutions like this become examples for the rest of the country and the world, where we can emulate their examples. So, 100 years, review. Think of the next 25 years, 50 years, 100 years, plan. And whatever plans they make, we will certainly uh, closely monitor them. This is not that I came there and thought about it uh, before I came there, but then I saw that this is, uh, institute was created in 1917. And when I read the history that uh, he had faced a lot of struggles in his life and that is why he thought that the future generation should not face those struggles and that's why the science should be pursued in a very good manner. So now after 100 years of that effort, we should plan beautifully the next 100 years. There is a, uh, I always say that it's not the number of publications that are important. How many publications have actually benefited the common man? That is most important. So we are trying to reorient uh, the direction of our uh, thinking of our people. We are going to have uh, detailed brainstorming meetings of our uh, directors of the uh, science and technology institutes of CSIR in the month of June. And all over the country we are going to brainstorm here for two days each. And then uh, we Art uh, in the process of reorienting everything. Thank you. Can you speak a bit of me, please? Are you the standard of scientific research on the ongoing 